Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Well, how is everyone doing? We're coming along, we're getting ready to march into April and April Fools is going to be set off tomorrow, April the 1st. But let's take a look at some things that have been coming up for many, many people. Um, such as distractions. Yeah, let's just look at that. So you're growing and growing and your growth could be moving from a job, moving from a relationship. Uh, your growth could entail having children, being married, um, you know, um, new things, right? Uh, new avenues. And then something comes up um, that causes a remembrance of your past. And that thing is actually coming up only to help you to identify that there is still yet changes that you need to make. And I want to say um, myself because as well, because we're all in this together, especially the ones that have taken on the approach of you have the power um, in life to change. When you have the power in life to change, you start to work with that power. When you know you have that power, you consistently um, work with it in all areas to make you a better person. Something like um, the words that Michael Jackson said, I'm looking at the man in the mirror and the mirror can be everyone that has stood around you, people that you interacted with, people that you liked, people that you said you didn't like, um, people that you felt something was wrong um, concerning them, but you couldn't put your finger on it, people that you're married to or were married to relationships and all of that, these people were a resembling factor of the mirror that you were looking in for your betterment. I mean, the, the thing about it is, is the identification, if you can identify that someone is behaving like you. And in most cases, we don't see that, you know, you could go back into um, the Bible when the children of Israel, they were freed, but they didn't know what to do with the freedom. And so they told Moses to take them back because the conditions of traveling wasn't what they wanted. Well, when you've been praying for freedom, your, your freedom is in your strength to carry on uh, till uh, the next level of freedom, right? And that's something to look at. I mean, I was looking at Nehemiah 4 and um, the information is simply something that helps you to think deeper than where you are. You know, um, in Nehemiah 4, you, you see Nehemiah on the wall, you know, rebuilding the wall. And um, there are some people that come and they're mocking them. And these are people that don't understand um, the wall that he's uh, rebuilding with um, his peers. And so you'll have people like that. But when you are in um, a moment or a pivotal moment of change that's significant and it's calling your purpose in, you're going to have distractions, but you have to man or woman up to see that you are changed. No one really can tell you that. Um, you have to see it for yourself because as you see it, you'll see other things about yourself that has changed that says, you know what? That's a part of my past. I'm moving forward, right? And you begin to celebrate yourself for seeing it because as long as those people can come around and make you feel bad about the changes that you're making, um, the trigger is always going to be pulled. The other thing is, is that they're always going to be around because they are part of your lesson. You see, when you go over into Nehemiah 5 and 6, you begin to see a different scenario. And this is what we are actually um, doing. We're creating new scenarios for our lives um, that are productive and prosperous. And that is for the person that understands you have the power to change your life. And today is the day. So um, another um, look at the analogy of 
the children of Israel complaining um, that nothing was good enough for them. So um, they were always complaining when they got to um, a, a circumstance that caused hardship, but they never looked at the prayers that were answered. You see, they always, and it's so much like us, you know, when we're coming out of hardships, you may have been born in the projects and, you know, you see a better life where you can own a four or five bedroom house. You, you know, you came from a family that didn't have money and you can complain because you don't see enough. You might want to check the budgeting, right? Or the way that you actually perceive things, right? And so, um, all in all, in order to change your life is not about money. It's about learning gratitude because material level is one level. But as you excel in life, you're going to go into the spirit. Now, some people will fight that. And that's why we have so many relationships that are severed. Because when you come to crossroads, the crossroad means you decide to take the road that you're going to take and they take the road that they're going to take. That means that you have to really examine what you want. Do you want to be that higher authentic um, version of yourself or do you want to stay back in um, the material world with uh, the people that celebrate material? And it's nothing wrong with it because I think we're all here uh, we all came here for a purpose, but when you're looking at your purpose, is your purpose only about material or is it about another level of understanding that you don't have to buy someone else's material? You can create create your own material. Now, that's to me, that's the power of changing your life because you no longer give unto the consumer mindset, but you become a producer. Yeah. All right. So email me um, and um, speak to me. What do you think? You know, at um, ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Um, let me know if you have any topics that you want to bring on my podcast, on my YouTube, um, uh, wherever I air at. Um, and even if you wanted to be a part of it, we have leadership groups um, for business and spiritual um, um, development. Um, I am a life coach, executive coach. I work in different areas, um, creating um, consulting um, information for businesses. And I have um, people that work with me. So you uh, get in contact with me and you guys be blessed. Okay. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your life. Remember to smile.